All right, what's going on everyone? Captain here back in the Marvel Contest Champions video. We've got another crystal opening for you guys today. We're going to be popping open a featured six star and a featured five star. Uh, the sigil has reset, so we'll be opening up those first. Uh, and depending, I, I'm considering stopping on <clears throat> the six star one if I get a certain character. That would probably be Spider-Man 2099. He's kind of the main one I want out of there. If I get him, I may start saving up my six star shards for the next batch uh, and then same thing goes for the featured five star once i get kitty pride i'm done with that crystal uh, so we're going to be buying those one at a time but before we get into those uh, if you haven't seen my last video i did a big greater gifting crystal opening uh, so i opened up 37 of those uh, so go ahead and check that out i did get gifted one more since then by one of the people on my friends list who's actually a good buddy of mine uh, so i went ahead and returned the favor there sent him back one also xander scar sent me over a smaller uh, great, uh, gifting crystal shout out to him uh, and i sent him one back as well um so hopefully he got something good out of that uh, both of them did uh, but i figured i'd open up this one on camera for you guys before i get into there in case i happen to get something uh good so let's see what we're gonna get out of this one greater gifting crystal so this is technically number 38 all right we didn't get one of the featured characters out of it which is fine we don't really need don't really care for any of those and oh man t4 class class two of them that's probably the worst option in this greater gifting crystal that's fine about what you expect so we've also got a couple other things to open here um we're gonna open up uh, the six star nexus that we pulled out of that uh greater gifting crystal opening in the previous video and i think yeah i had 10 of these six stones just figured i might as well pop those right here and Awesome Cosmic is kind of the big one we'd want right now for Hercules. So there we go. All right, now let's go over to the store. Let's buy those uh, featured Black ISO market ones for cheaper. And then we'll get into the good stuff. Hopefully, I mean, ho ideally it's one and done here. I mean, obviously, I guess I could continue going if I get uh, Spider-Man 2099 and then try to go for the Awakening. But I don't know. Right, let's start with the featured five star throw it on the spinner and pray that we get kitty pride finally <clears throat> so, i mean at this point like i said we're 21 days away from the new featured six stars it's going to be in that pool and we're almost just going to start going for that instead uh there she is and it rolls over of course a couple times it ends on a joe fix it and actually that's new i didn't have him as a five star i don't oh that's cool i guess he is he did get buffed recently uh, I didn't have him, obviously, and I didn't have him as a six star either. So, hey, I guess that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead, let's buy, let's go in one more time and see if we can get Kitty on this one. Like I said, we're just going to keep going until we get Kitty. So hopefully we can get her on one of these early ones and we, we can be done with this crystal. But I'd rather just save all these five star shards. Um, and nope, that's a Mephisto. And I pulled him a bunch out of this crystal, I think, now. Yeah, he's up to SIG 80. I pulled him for the first time, like, right before this crystal opened, and then I would awaken him, I think, from the first time. Now he's up to SIG 80. He's been a popular one for me on my account, apparently. Not not one that you want to be popular, but he has been. All right. Crystal number three of the feature five stars. And we are stopping on Hercules. I think that actually might be a first awakening on my five star. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, if I ever have the need to awaken or take rank up my five star Hercules, he's now awakened. So that is something <laughs> better, I guess. Uh, doesn't really matter since I have the six star who will hopefully soon be at rank four. Uh, still just short of being able to do that. So yeah, can't do it just yet. But I can't wait until he is. He's going to be fun. And there is a five-star America Chavez. That might be a first dupe on her as a five-star, I think. And again, it is. All right. Come on. I think I've pulled... Yeah, I've definitely pulled every other featured five-star in this pool except for Kitty Pride. And I think I've awakened all of them too now. I think that was the last one that I hadn't awakened. So come on. <laughs> like the one that I want 
is the one I haven't pulled yet. There she goes again. And kitty, come on. No! Alright, this is the last one we can buy for now because we won't have enough to get another one. And let's see, team spin has not been working, so let's just team pop. Nope. Hercules. Alright. The hunt continues. I may give up on the five star and just start assuming I'll just get her as a six star. I don't know. It's hard to assume I'm going to get her as a six star, though. That's going to be even harder, I feel like. Uh, speaking of the six stars, though, let's move on into the six star featured and see what we can get here. All right. Spider-Man 2099 is the big one we want. A couple other decent pulls in here as well, but he is the main one that we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. Yeah, it looked like it sped up there for a second. That was kind of weird. And we are stopping on a... Oh man, one more rollover to the Overseer. Would have been a first time dupe. Would have loved that. Um, but that is a second dupe of X-23, who I think all three have been pulled from this uh, featured crystal. Pretty sure. Um, I think I'm just going to do it. I'm going to buy both of them. Because why not? I got most of these shards from the Greater Gifting Crystals. Well, not, not most of them. I got like... I got 17,000 of them, I think. So not one of these crystals was from a greater gifting. Um, so here we go. Got two left here. And can we get someone good? Diablo, okay. Diablo definitely needs the SIGs. It would have been either him or Hercules. More SIGs on either of them is fine. Uh, unfortunately, he was a 69 SIGs already. So that was kind of nice. And that, was, that wasn't intentional. I used all the Mystic Stones I had and he ended on 69. Uh, so it's like one of those happy accident kind of things. Uh, but now he's up to, what, 89? Doesn't sound nearly as cool. <laughs> All right. Last featured six star, and then we hop on over to that Nexus. Um, yeah, we can still get some good stuff out of that Nexus for sure. And let's stop it there. Let's see what we're going to get. Also, I made sure my mic was not muted this time. And we are getting ourselves... Hey, Karnak. Yikes. This... Uh, that was a double dupe. I couldn't remember. It was. Man, this... These last few pulls out of this featured six star have not been treating me that great. But it's kind of expected. I said it a while back that my luck this year overall has been insane. So I knew I was bound to fall back to form of just getting kabammed, as, the, as we say. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's that. And I guess we do have one of these calf crystals. Let's go ahead and just team pop that real quick. And a four star Psycho Man. One of the characters we forget is in the game. Uh, I do have a bunch of these, but I think I'll wait to open those until the entire event is over. So we'll hold on to that. And let's go ahead and end this off, like I said, with this six star uh, Nexus, which we also got from the Greater Gifting Crystals. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to do more Greater Gifting Crystals. We'll see. I've got two, uh, over 2,000 units still, but I may save that for content stuff. So we'll kind of see. And we have our option of... Oh! Oh, guys. Honestly, those all three aren't that bad. Like... Thor Awakening definitely makes him more useful. Obviously, he's not the Thor he once was. Um, I love Dragon Man. And a lot of people are probably just like, oh, Mole Man's the obvious pick. But Dragon Man I already have at rank 3. Mole Man is only at rank 1. I currently don't have like any skill T4 Catalyst because I've taken up Nick Fury and Hitmonkey recently up to rank 3. So, huh. But I, I feel like Mole Man benefits more from the Awaken ability than Dragon Man Awake. Uh, I need to look up their Awaken abilities real quick. Let me go ahead and do that real, real quick before I make a decision. Okay, so I think I've decided I'm going to go with Mole Man. Um, again, may, many of you thought this was an obvious pick, but for me, like I love Dragon Man. He's a lot of fun. Uh, again, I already have him at rank three, Mole Man. Uh, he's only at rank one, and I just took up those guys I talked about. So I don't really have a lot of skill resources, so it might be a while before I take him up. But he, I think, benefits a little bit more 
from his awakened ability than Dragon Man does. Uh, so whenever I do get around to ranking him up, because I'm sure I will at some point want to take him up because he is a fantastic champion, one of the best uh, buffs of the year. And yeah, I think we're going to go with Mole Man. So let's lock it in and take ourselves a dupe of Mole Man. So that is awesome. Either It's a good thing that either way I was going to be happy with my choice because there's nothing worse than getting a Nexus and absolutely being having three terrible choices so at least i had good options even thor wouldn't have been the worst option if he was the best of the three i would have been fine with that because uh, i feel like he should be in line for a buff at some point he's been pretty bad for a long time uh that's gonna do it for this opening guys let me know if you opened up any crystals lately what'd you get from them uh thank you for watching guys and i'll catch you next time